You may have heard of me. I am the world's first consulting detective. This is my loyal assistant, Watson. That's not my name. Together, we fight crime and help Inspector Lestrade when he's out of his depth, which is always. Stop calling me that and stay out of my crime scenes. And me, you can call me Sherlock. No one calls you that. Double chocolate pudding, completely ordinary. I was afraid of that. You should have shot him when I had a chance. Open it up. Lestrade, a man of many talents. Make a good butler. Do we have an ETA? Mortician got held up, boss. There was another fire at the gas and packeting, packeting warehouse. warehouse. Yeah, yeah. We might as well wait it out. I'd rather have that weirdo where I can keep an eye on him than off doing who knows what. What's up with him anyway? He wanted to know if I had any cyanide capsules. I don't just give that to people. Well, don't look at me. He seemed normal when I met him. This woman dead! <sighs> yeah, we know that. Well, then, I assume you're also aware that she wasn't alone at the time of death. This hair underneath her is not her own. How do you know that? I have a book of hair. Yes, a book of hair. The, uh, the killer. Killer knew the victim, definitely. Um, knew her quite well, I believe. Knew her well enough to be aware of her massive pudding fetish. They used that knowledge to slip some sort of substance, I believe, into her, her, her nightgown. That's ridiculous. How? Oh, that's obvious. The, the real question, the real question is, um, who? Who knew? Watson, I need you to grab some photos. Whatever you can find, just scrounge them up. We need to show them around. And um, we need to focus our attention on the most pudding-oriented places we can think of. This is really fresh food. I think I'm just gonna take that, because it's, you know, it's gonna go to waste. So pudding-oriented places, you know, put on your thinking caps. Um, Gatorade warehouse distribution, um, fertility clinics, uh, Lego warehouses, uh, Teamster Union things, you know, any Can I help you? Do you recognize this photo? What's this all about? You were uh, caught ordering over a metric ton of this substance on the phone over a week ago, yes? Seems to me you were quite rude with a certain customer service representative. Quite rude indeed. Are you from the company? I didn't mean any of that stuff about putting pig herpes in the water supply. I wasn't myself. We're cutting you off, John. What? No, you can't do that. You don't understand. That pudding was all I had to pour my problems out to. To hold me at night. To take me to prom. Thing is, John, I don't go around freezing people's grandparents and turning them into ice cream. And then going to playgrounds and, and, and pawning that ice cream off on little children so they can see what sadness tastes like. I don't do that, John. I keep those feelings, those urges, I keep them down, buried deep inside. But I know where you're coming from, John. That's why I started this support group for putting fetishes such as yourself. Maybe you could let me inside and we can have a long, hard talk about you helping me, helping you, helping others. What do you say? May I come inside? Wow, this house is dirty. Yes? Look familiar? Oh my god, where did you find this? You were caught in a bidding war with it two nights ago, were you not? Touched me in my sweet spot 1991? Nobody knows that name. Citizens. Jonathan Chase, CDC. Listen, the uh, labels you've been importing, you've been exposed to very dangerous toxins. You could be in harm's way, ma'am. Do I need to quarantine? <laughs> Only if you want to die alone. Me, I prefer to spend my narcotic-induced renal failures with a few escorts and a couple of episodes of WKRP in Cincinnati. I do keep my payback list up to date. Huh, maybe I don't have to turn you over to the authorities after all. If you were to leak me some information about this uh, counterfeit labeling ring of yours, I might be persuaded to look the other way. Wise one. Do you recognize this photo? Well, of course, that's Susan. Who are you? Jonathan Chase, CDC. That's an expired driver's license. That is beside the point. I'm a therapist. 
for the people. Mm -hmm. I'm here on Susan's intervention. Is this about her addiction to painkillers? No. This is about her other intervention. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that Susan had the water turned off in her house in order to make room in her pipes for her um, gelatin storage? That explains why she said she was replacing her bathroom with a shovel and composter. Well, her family did hire me to handle this whole debacle before it gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. So this uh, intervention is gonna be at her house. Tomorrow, we're gonna ambush her. You could be a huge asset to this whole operation I'm running here. I'm gonna come in. Move your arm. Uh -oh, no. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Pudding? The dark, creamy underbelly of suburbia. Where you been? You took my car. Yeah, nice excuse. Don't be late again. I need you to get Lestrade on the phone pronto. I need to get into the victim's house. I can't risk another restraining order. Especially not this close to spelling bee season. This is the year. I don't think they're gonna call you back to be a judge. Huh? You're not supposed to make up imaginary words. Those snot-nosed punks. I mean... They can't handle a word like high school Alice Mocha. You see? I gave him good verbal clues and everything. These guys gotta learn to hang with the big boys. Although, actually having them surrounded by elements of their guilt, it may make a confession more readily available. You know who did it? It's elementary, my dear. Elementary. <laughs> now, 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 now. Once I was in their homes, I saw everything I needed to know. All the IKEA furnishings and the Swiss Miss catalogs. It's like their houses were baked in aromas of butterscotch and vapor rub and quiet desperation. Some people will go to some very extreme lengths just to alleviate their boredom. Solid. I'm just going back over the... How did you get back here? Yeah, well, their sergeant just let me through. Well, I think he thought it was funny. But, anyway, um... We are, uh, are going to need you to, uh, to open up the victim's house this afternoon. You're not his assistant, you know. Just like he's not Sherlock Holmes. And my name isn't Lestrade. Your name's not Lestrade? more trouble than it's worth to arrest him. But you, you let him shanghai your whole life. I mean, I know I shouldn't ask this, but why? Seemed like a good idea at the time. But I know you're gonna get hurt if you keep this up. I mean, do you have any sort of official training? I was parade marshal when we celebrated the fifth year of the Cuyahoga River not catching on fire. Why does he want the house? I don't know. But if it's a choice between having him cooped up in a small room with a bunch of murder suspects, or leaving him alone in my house, where he can rework his manifesto about how we need to finish the border fence between Canada and the North Pole, I know which one I pick. Fine. But I'm supervising. Um, yeah. Suspects! For what? Murder. Wait, what? Where did you get them? They're all from our neighborhood. Well, except for George. My, my Aunt Diane, she made me promise to bring him out on another social gathering. You want some pudding if you're leaving? We canvassed the neighborhood. None of these people live near her, including George. Well, you canvassed the neighborhood she died in. I thought it'd be a good idea to canvass the neighborhood she actually lived in. This isn't a pudding addict support group. You three obviously knew the victim, but you also were all three very tangled up in her web of intrigue and artificially flavored gelatin. That is a lie! Jello only uses natural flavors. May I introduce John Smith, who shared with our victim a, a craving for an endless supply of creamy chocolate goodness. And our victim, she also taught our Jane Doe here 
the lucrative pastime of pudding label collecting. And uh, Jane Smith on the end here learned from our victim the wonders of a pudding-based skin cream regime. <laughs> it was Smith. My name's Went. Uh, just go with it. Yes. Seemed like everything was all set up for you three once you got that job at the distribution plant. She let John here drive off with the occasional pudding truck once a month or so so that he could set himself up in a chocolate coma. Mother always said I didn't have just like that. She always made sure that Miss Smith here had the imported exotic blends that the FDA said were too dangerous for adult skin, but they were okay somehow for child consumption. Kids always get the good stuff. And when the company started making limited run labels, the victim and Miss Doe came up with the brilliant idea to start counterfeiting them. But they couldn't do it here in the States because of the law, so they found a tiny dictatorship in a small country to do their evil work. Burma, Vatican City. All right, I've had enough. This meeting is over. Uh, it was actually over the moment you let him into your house. How right you are, Watson. See, everything you do, everything you say, everything you wear, it teaches me everything I need to know. That's why I always keep my clothes in a vacuum sealed bag buried in my backyard every night. Yeah, he's not making that up. Yes, it was a perfect setup, apparently. That is until the um, higher ups found out about it. That's when she cut you off, didn't she? Substituted her last uh, shipment with some shoe polish tainted lard. Lard which obviously clouded the killer's thoughts and Lord knows what it's doing to their thighs. Well, which one did it? They all did it. Really? No, Watson, no. What do you think, we're gonna Agatha Christie play here? No, they all had motive, that's obvious. But only one of them, only one had the opportunity to sneak in and replace the victim's nightly snack with their own sadistic cocktail. There were no drugs in the system beyond the normal levels of THC, and the pudding was fine. Just could have used a little bit more tetrasodium pyrophosphate to hide the dry taste of the butylated hydrazidoline. Uh-huh. You see, Miss Smith was counting on just that lack of pudding knowledge. You see, when you mix chocolate dye number five with MSG, it hides the strychnine in the blood. Double chocolate fudge is the ultimate murder weapon. How do you know that? I tested it on Watson earlier this afternoon. What? You what? It was no big deal, just a little splotch gone. Maybe some erectile dysfunction. You have no proof. Alas, I think I do. Lestrade, if you'll just check under her nails, I'm sure you'll find some residue that'll match the lab samples you took out of the victim's cupboard. I could never hurt Susan. She was my friend. We share beautiful memories together, like the winter that we ate snowflakes out of the air, which is a big mistake when you're on Peter's stop pet cremation protest ride. I'll say, but honestly, what good are friends once the wrinkles start to show up? I mean, you've got, what, two more years? And then I don't think you'll be able to even set your face outside. Watson, mirror. It's not my fault. Pudding was the only thing keeping my stratum cordium firm and translucent. That's what they all say. Stop her, Watson! The who? <laughs> That's going in the book of hair. He was right. Putting smuggling ring. You don't expect this sort of thing where you live. Go arrest a lot of them. They've all got putting on their hands. I've seen it before watching with these white flight suburbanite types with their community theater and their cold sacks. It's like they've been overdoing it on these snack foods for so long, Watson. It's, it's almost as if they've lost complete ability to tell right from wrong. Like small children. Or pacifists. Wait. Does that mean we let them go? No, Watson got them just in time to pop them in the gas chamber. <laughs> Funny visual there, <laughs> popping them in the gas chamber. <laughs> 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 <laughs>